This is the 2016 Math Kangaroo, level 7A, problem number 30. A 3 by 3 by 3 cube is built from 15 black cubes and 12 white cubes. Five faces of the larger cube are shown. Which of the following is the sixth face of the large cube? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we are going to be doing the solution. To start, I've labeled the five faces that we are given, one, two, three, four, and five, so that you can know which one it is I'm referring to. And I've also included a drawing of the cube so you can have a better idea of how the sides of the cube fold together. If you have the time, I'd recommend, you know, cutting out a net of the cube if, you, if you're having trouble um, Im imagining how the different faces fold together. Okay, so let's look back at those five faces there at the top. We wanna try to figure out how these sides are going to be folded together. So which ones have a common edge and where? Well, we can see that if we look at face number three and at face number five, we can see that these two faces do not have any common edges because the patterns are different. For face three, for example, you can see that we have this black, white, black, black, white, black, and you know, continuing, each side has black, white, black. However, for face five, we have white, black, 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 white, 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 black, and you can see that we do not have that black, white, black pattern. And keep in mind that this is important because Looking back at this cube over here, just um, for visual purposes, we can see that if this, let's say, is black, then this face must also be black because our three by three cube is built from either black cubes or white cubes. So a black cube will have all black faces and a white cube will have all white faces. So you can't have one cube with, you know, a black face and a white face or a combination of that. It's either all black faces or all white faces. And again, that's why three and five cannot have a common edge because they don't have the same pattern of black, white, black cubes. And this is important because again, they don't have any common edges, which means they must be opposite each other on the cube. I'm going to refer to face three as the top face of the cube, but keep in mind this is a cube, so there's not really like a true top, but without loss of, you know, generality, I'm going to refer to that as the top face. And I'm going to draw it right here in the center face of this net. Okay, so what I've drawn so far corresponds to this on this cube. But again, as I said earlier, you can either have an all black, a cube with all black sides or one with all white ones. So as I've drawn already over here, this side will also be black and so will this one because there's a black cube at that corner and at all four corners of that top face, there's a black cube. So each one has three sides that can be seen. You can't see all of them in that picture, but you'll see them in the net. Again, this must be black, this must be black because again, the net will fold and there's going to be a corner black cube over there with three sides showing. So I'm going to continue shading in these sides. Okay. Next, we want to figure out where we're going to place the remaining faces. Again, we, we drew three. We know where five is, but I'm not going to draw it quite yet. 
So let's look at one, two, and four. Let's place face number two over here. And again, in, an important thing we can do in figuring out how to line it up is see this black, white, black pattern. That must be over here. So we can see that we need to rotate that face before placing it in. And we're going to place it in as so. Okay, so we've placed face number two. This tells us a few important things. Well, it tells us that this side over here must also be black because, and I'm going to refer to the picture of the cube again, because say this side is black, then this side of, must also be black because again, there's going to be a one black cube there that has two faces being seen. And the same is true over here. This side must also be black because again, think about the way that it's folding. Similarly, we can see that this side must be white because of the way it folds, and this side must also be white. This side must be white, and this one must be white because of the way that it folds. Okay, so this information can help us with placing our next two faces. Let's look at faces one and four. Well, let's see if we can place face four or one. Let's see which one we can place over here. Well, we know that we cannot be placing face number four there because the patterns do not match up. We can't have this black, white, black. If we put that here and rotate the cube, the other black faces are going to end up here and not here where we already established they must be. So again, we cannot be placing side number four there. Okay, so if we can't be placing four there, let's see what happens when we try to place side one there. Well, again, we want to pay attention to that black, white, black pattern over here, and we're going to need to rotate it. In, sorry, we're not going to need to rotate it in this case. It'll fit in nicely with this side being black as well as this side and this side. Okay, so we've placed one, two, three, and we already know where five is. So let's place side number four. We can place it over here. Again, this has to line up over here. Lines up nicely without rotation. This going here, this going here, as so. Okay, so now, if we want, we can color in that, you know, side five, which again is opposite side three over here. And we already know because of the placement of this, that again, there's an, they're connected by an edge. So this must also be black. And by a similar logic, this side over here must be black again. They're folded onto each other. Just looking at side five over here, we can see that we must place it in as so. There's no other way knowing that these two are there. So what is it we're trying to find? We're trying to find the sixth face, which we can see oops, is the one over here. Well, let's see what we know so far about it. Again, by what we've learned from what will happen when we fold these faces together, we can see that this one will come over here. So this one must be black. 
you can see that this will come over here, this must be black, and this one must be black. And by a similar logic, we know that this one must be white. So basically, we know what's happening in this column, we know what's happening in this column, we just need to figure out what is going on in the middle. And if we look at the middle in greater detail, we can see that what we do know is that this side must be white because this is white. So in reality, there's two faces we're trying to see. We don't know what this is, don't know what this is. How are we gonna figure that out? Well, one thing we can do is refer back to the problem, something that we haven't paid much attention to, is that there's 15 black cubes and 12 white cubes. So if we count the number of black cubes we, can ha we have, we can see how many black cubes we have left to place. But before we do that, just looking at the answer choices to see if we can narrow it down, we can see that B is not correct because, again, we know that this is the way it is and this is the way it is. And the same is for C and D. We're between A and E because we don't know what's going on in those two question mark places. Okay, so now let's count the black cubes that we have. And again, it does, it's, it's not one black face to one black cube. Because keep in mind, some corner cubes have three sides face, three sides showing. The ones in the middle of a side, like let's say this one, have two sides showing. And then the ones in the middle of a face have one side showing. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's count up the number of black cubes we have so far in order to see if we still need to add another one or two or if we already have 15. So let's get started. So we have one cube here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then this one's going to fold with these two to form a corner, so that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then this one actually folds with these two to form a corner, so we've already counted it. So we counted 15 black cubes. And again, in the problem, we know that we have 15, so that means all of our black cubes are accounted for. We don't have any left to place in either of these question mark locations, meaning that the question mark locations must be white cubes. And this means that answer choice E is incorrect, and the correct answer is answer choice A, because again, those two spots must be filled by white cubes. Again, if you are struggling, you know, picturing how this folds in your head, I'd highly recommend drawing out a net of the cube with um, grid lines for each of the, of the faces and then coloring in the ones that are black and the ones that or white, um, lead, leaving unshaded, and then folding it all together in order to have a better idea of how the faces fold together. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.